when I just completed my marketing retreat called The Uprising. You can see I'm wearing the colors here. And what a magical time it was bringing together 30 marketing thought leaders who became 30 new friends in this wooded lodge surrounded by hiking trails and gardens. We had a lot of fun. We had great food. And we also learned a lot. It was kind of like uh, like a camp for marketing geeks. We had so many very deep and rich discussions about the changes in marketing that are going to forge our careers in the future. And I can't hope but to capture much of it in a short video. And I know you expect a short video, but I wanted to give you sort of the overall theme of the event. No matter what topic we discussed, it all seemed to come back to this one thing. And it's this idea of community and belonging as a very important part of the future of marketing. We're in a world today where people feel so disoriented and disconnected. The research shows that the more time people spend on the internet, the more isolated, lonely, and depressed they feel. And during this pandemic, it's just gotten worse, especially for young people today. So, for example, when we talked about Web3 and the metaverse, this is a mind-numbingly complex topic. But I think the important thing for marketers is to just cut through the complexity and the hype and look at how do we use these new tools to build community and to help people belong. We had an amazing opportunity to hear about new measurement ideas from an executive from Pepsi. And she talked about how part of her role is identifying new micro trends, new micro communities, and explaining this to the marketing leaders in her company. Branding today is really about becoming relevant to these micro communities, to somehow belong and have meaning to these micro communities and help them feel like they belong to the brand. We spent a lot of time talking about Gen Z and Gen Alpha that's coming after Gen Z that was sort of weaved through many of the discussions. And this is a generation that has been buffeted by uh, economic issues, by uh, societal issues, political dissonance, and of course, the pandemic. And this is a generation that's feeling a tremendous amount of anxiety, depression, displacement, and that's going to be playing out as they start to become the majority of, our, of the consumers in our economy. Is there a place for business and for marketing to address issues like that? I think there is. If you look at the major changes going on in the world, whether it's things that are happening with the environment or with equality, they're not really being led by slow-moving governments and bureaucracies. They're really being led by companies who want to get ahead of the, com com the uh, consumer trends, the consumer needs. And I think there's a role for businesses and marketing in this issue as well. I think that there is a role for companies and marketers to help people belong. And I think this is gonna be a major marketing trend to watch.